welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Lizbeth and I share my personal style, my love for easy beauty. And today I'm going to be sharing 10 spring 2020 trends that I think you babe should experiment with this year. Excuse the light too. My office, the sun, the clouds are covering the sun and the sun's out. So excuse that. And I also want to preface that this video is kind of hard for me to film right now because in the spring of 2020, we are amidst a pan freaking demic and coronavirus is alive and thriving in 2020. So filming this video for me right now seems a little unnecessary because situations like this definitely put a lot of things into perspective. And I have gone through something like this before, obviously not an insane virus like this, but if you've been following me, y'all know that my dad battled cancer and unfortunately passed away last summer. So I know what this fear and anxiety is like, and I do also know that through that whole journey, I still wanted and not had to, but like still had to keep moving and going and created content. And I'm kind of going through that similar experience where you're going through a lot of stuff, but you're still trying to inspire and create. And I know we still have to keep moving and growing and keep doing. So besides all that heaviness, let's get into it. Let's talk about 10 trends that I'm loving, that I wanna experiment, that I'm already experimenting with, that I wanna embrace in spring. A lot of these trends were pulled from the runway, were pulled from Instagram. Instagram is a big source of my daily style inspiration. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, be sure to. So yeah, all of these kind of were gathered through Instagram as well as runway collection. So first trend I wanna talk about is the lingerie trend. So I'm talking about bra tops as crop tops, slip dresses, as well as corsets. So many fun and interesting ways to rock those pieces. These pieces I actually pulled from my dresser and my closet. I have this corset that is so flattering. Something like this I would definitely recommend wearing at night with a baggy blazer. You could wear it with vintage Levi's. You could wear it with Bermuda shorts, which I will be talking about. Just a really beautiful, fun going out top in my opinion. If you wanna wear it in the daytime, I definitely would wear it over a white t-shirt with Levi's. You can wear it with some Converse. So this lingerie trend is alive and thriving. Maybe you're not into anything lacy, but this Pretty little thing, kind of sports bra crop top is one of my favorites. Has a really awesome square neckline that gives you a bit of cleavage. It's so comfortable, it feels like a sports bra, but I've worn this a lot and I really, really love it. Definitely recommend this one. I've had it for a couple years. Also slip dresses. So this is a nightgown. This was thrifted by my girl Macy. She is a thrift queen. I did a collab video with her last year, so go check it out. We thrifted a whole fall wardrobe. We're thinking of doing a spring one, so stay tuned for that, but she sells vintage pieces. And this is from Fredericks of Hollywood. I'm thinking more lacy, but this is what I have from my closet, and I really love it. I've worn it out, and it's just so fun and comfortable. So here is actually a legit slip. <laughs> I wouldn't wear this out because it's too sheer, but this is an undergarment that I wear under my dresses. But a lot of slip dresses and laundry have this lace detail. I know you've seen slip dresses that have lace detail like this. So something like this, just to give you guys some inspiration. And then this dress was thrifted. I love this dress, but I really think anything with a lace detail like this, really beautiful, really sexy you know, gives that lingerie kind of vibe. So yeah, hopefully that's some inspiration for this lingerie trend. I definitely recommend it more for a night out, more of a statement look, going out with your girlfriends. So I really dug that. Next trend I wanna talk about is suiting. So I love blazers. So we're talking blazers, I'm talking trousers. I'm talking two, even three piece suits if you're interested. I thought it'd be really fun to thrift a suit, a men's suit, and actually get it tailored to my body. I met a girl at an event that I went to and she was wearing a really cool suit and it was from Redone. And I guess Redone takes old suits and tailors them. So we'll see about that. I want to try something like that. But uh, I have these trousers that are linen from Revolve. They're by the brand Privacy Please. What's interesting about these is these are more loose. I love a fitted trouser, but this is cool. I noticed some low slung trousers on the runway. That doesn't really work with my body type because I am petite. I have a really great pair from Nasty Gal that I've loved, that I've worn so much. They're super bellowy. The legs are super wide. Um, I really definitely recommend that. So I'm really feeling trousers. I'm also feeling blazers. 
I have this really great cropped Zara blazer, which you guys could totally wear with jeans. So embracing blazers, which are so such a classic. I feel like a lot of us already have that, but you know, maybe even wearing it, getting a black blazer, wearing it with a trouser, but I'm feeling tan linen trousers, black trousers work, but just, yeah, embracing trousers with sneakers. I feel like that looks really cool. I've seen that a lot on Instagram. I will also be sharing a video, which once it's up, I'll link it above, showing you, babe, seven different ways to wear some of these spring trends. And I really think these trousers with sneakers, like Converse, a sweater, I really think a cute mule for spring, these are so comfortable. You can wear them to work. You can wear them out. I feel like they're super universal. You guys can totally thrift a pair of trousers. So any type of suiting, menswear inspired pieces, they've been out for a long time, but trousers and blazers and suiting, I think is really fun. So I'm talking about suiting. Let's talk about white blazers. This is a new purchase from H&M and I absolutely love it. I've worn it so, so much but white blazers look so cool. I feel like it's great for a night out. You guys could wear it with a bra top. So one of these crop tops, which I actually totally forgot to share, a legit bra would work. This is like a Skims bra that I love wearing. And I just think this looks so cool, like a bralette underneath a blazer. You could wear high-waisted denim with it. Actually, these jeans that I have here, these are some Zara trousers. I think this would look so freaking cute with the blazer. Um, just fun fun pieces. You could even wear them with trousers. You could totally even wear it with these trousers, which would be super cute. Um, over a dress, I know Jacquemus had a white blazer paired with a really cute lace top and some white trousers. So yeah, white blazers, suiting, all about it. I've worn this so much. I need to get it dry clean though because I've already gotten it so dirty, which is really annoying. Um, now let's talk about some colors. Pastels are always in for spring, but I'm really feeling this sherbet color, which this is definitely, definitely a little bit more tangerine, but sherbet and mint. How cute is this slip dress? will totally freshen up your wardrobe. This is from Danielle Bernstein's collection, which I'm gonna be doing a full review on. I purchased some of her pieces. I really wanted to see how they fit, but this skirt is so pretty. A sherbet orange. This is, again, a little bit more tangerine, but just bringing these colors in and dresses, skirts, you could totally wear this skirt to work, a white t-shirt. You could totally wear it with a bra top, maybe a lavender one and the white blazer. Just really fun spring pieces. This is a fun color too, kind of that pastel-y vibe. It's more of a sage green, but even this would look cute together, like a monochromatic look. So some fresh pastel colors, pinks and lavenders, baby blue. Um, here's another great cardigan in this color. I love this green. And speaking of cardigans, that's another trend I was seeing. This is something, that has been going on, I feel like since September, but it's still alive and thriving. But cardigans, so freaking cute. This one's from Lioness. These are just more new brands that you can purchase from, but you can totally thrift cardigans, you guys. And I think that's the best place to thrift them. I have a Prada cardigan that my mom and I thrifted. We did a thrift video and she discovered this Prada one that I absolutely love. So you could definitely score some great expensive cardigans, but so great with jeans, even so great with this skirt. Loving it, so love that. Oh, this is another one I wanted to share from Danielle Bernstein's collection. I'm sure you've seen these cardigans that actually tie. So they're very flirty, really sexy. Um, but I really liked this one because it's not overtly intense. Some of these tie cardigans are super flirty and intense. So yeah, but speaking of cardigans, that leads me into the minimalist trend. I feel like you guys, I already embraced it and have seen that. I've even embraced more minimalist classic pieces like this bodysuit, which I have, but more for an everyday basis. Most of the times I'd wear these as basics with a blazer or just something that I needed to line an outfit with, but even camis with cardigans, super simple, super easy to wear. These are from my girl Gypsy Queen store, but you guys can get cardigans anywhere. These are bodysuits. But yeah, this whole like minimalist trend is 
really popping and alive and thriving. And yeah, I'm loving it. Another piece that I'm digging for spring are trench coats. This is a trench coat I've had since I was 16 years old. My dad got it for me and I, it's been so hard for me to truly get rid of it because it was actually from this brand called Trovada and it was actually like a big brand when I was in high school and it had these really fun buttons but I've grown out of this style so what I wanna do is I'm gonna replace all the buttons. You guys can thrift trench coats. I had some really great trench coats that I thrifted but I sold them and Thankfully, I still have this baby. So what I'm gonna do is going to sew some new buttons on it to give it a little bit more of a classic vibe. But the cut is so classic and great and beautiful. And I love it. It's a little bit lighter, very great, very, a great piece for us Californians that live in LA, don't really have weather. It is a like a heavier, I don't know, I wanna say it's a cotton. So I probably wouldn't wear this necessarily in the rain, but I really dig it. And now let's talk about Bermuda shorts. My dad would be so proud of me for embracing the Bermuda short. He loved, he would always tell me, those look so great on you, but to me they looked so frumpy. I didn't think they were flattering, but there's some really fun ways we can rock them. And I've already embraced it if you've been following me. Y'all have seen these sweat shorts that I've been wearing that I love. They're so comfortable, I thrifted these. I did have a follower find a very similar pair from Urban Outfitters, so definitely get your hands on these because it's more comfortable, it's wearable. You could totally wear a crop top with this. I've also worn it with a brown tank and a blazer, and be sure to check out. I style them in a way that you could wear them now, and then I will insert the photo here where you see how I style them for more of a spring look, which I love with the blazer and the tank top. Another way to embrace them is with these, with denim shorts. These are Levi's and I scored these at my girl Gypsy Queen store. Perfect length, perfect fit. I actually do need to tear them a little bit, when I, but when I wear them with a belt, it's perfect and it's fine. But a classic 90s short, which I can't believe I'm embracing because these are like the mom shorts, like the mom jeans, but I'm here for it. I'm loving it. So definitely get yourself a pair. And then these are another pair from ASOS, which I love, such a great high waist, so cute. These are a great pinstripe. I got them last year, so I've had them for a while, but these are a great tailored pair from ASOS. So here are three different pairs of Bermudas, three different ways you can rock them, however you feel comfortable. Definitely recommend a Levi's cut like this. I love these. Don't wanna go a little too statement or wear them out and about maybe around your friends if you're not comfortable with yet. Yeah, try something that's made of like a sweat fabric because you could wear these out running errands, a little bit more casual, but I've worn these dressed up and I love it. And then here's a great work trouser if you want to have something that will take you into summer, corporate jobs. I feel like this is a very flattering length. Um, I don't know, depends on your dress code, but I think these are a great dressy pair. I also think these would be really cute for our night out with the corset or a bra top, even one of these body suits as well. So cute and fresh. Even this cardigan, the Danielle Bernstein one. So, so many options for you babes, but I'm totally digging the Bermuda short. And the next trend I wanna talk about, I'm sure you've seen all over Instagram, but joggers, sweats. This is not revolutionary, but I really love how different girls have been styling them. This is a sweat set from Lulu's, which is so comfortable. I am 5'1", so finding a sweat set that actually fits, that I don't have to put rubber bands around my ankles, also that I don't have to cut. Lulu's has a really great set. If you guys have any recommendations on sweat sets, let your girl know you are petite, but this is so comfortable. And in that styling video, I showed you babes how to rock this. Totally loving it with a trench coat. And I've seen girls rock it with some New Balance sneakers, which I'll be talking about, but Sweats, so comfortable. This color, it's really fresh. And I think you guys should get yourself a sweat set. Now let's talk about purses, accessories, some fun shapes and styles. This one is from Miss Lola. It's this faux croc, which 
somebody thought it looked like real croc, which was really cool. He had croc shoes on and a croc briefcase and he liked my bag. So it looks real and I really like this style. This is a legit knockoff of Stodd, which is crazy, but this is so chic, so polished. The mini bags are going to still be in. I love a good mini bag, but if you like to mix it up, I definitely recommend a fun shape and style like this. So the croissant style bag, a hobo style bags are in. This is another great style of like a hobo bag. I know a lot of them are a bit longer, but I thrifted this coach bag last September in New York at Awoke Vintage and this style, love it. The croissant style. Also the Bottega has been out for a while and I'm sure you've seen babes rocking this clutch. Unfortunately, this isn't the real one. This is a Miss Lola knockoff, but it is so good, so perfect. I've seen some newer styles that have a gold kind of hook here for a strap because it comes with a strap, but this one has the same kind of faux leather fabric, which I love because it looks just so legit and it is from Miss Lola. I love this style bag, it's like a slouchy cloud bag. It's actually really comfortable. It works with so much. I have it in a cream color, which I absolutely love. This is a caramel club color. Um, I'll link it below, but I know the newer Miss Lola styles that I've seen have that gold hook here and I don't love it because it actually stands out and pops out. And I just love how seamless and rich this looks. So it's a fun style, a new style, a fun little clutch. Love this, it freshens up any look. Even works like what I'm wearing right now, these trousers and a bodysuit. Such a fun pop. They've been loving these. And as you can see, they're really neutral colors. They will wear and go with any of your favorite outfits. So freshen up your look, in my opinion, with some fun bags. Now let's talk about shoes. I really have been into sneakers lately. If you've been following me, y'all know I've been rocking these New Balances 990 V5s. The dad shoe, super comfortable. They literally go with any outfit. I feel like even these trouser shorts, it'd be look, it would look really cool with and the tank, but loving that. Air Force Ones, you guys have seen so many girls rocking this and I bit the bullet. I got the platform ones because your girl is 5'1 and these are a fun white sneaker for spring. Also another trend I know you guys have seen, the Converse platform, I went ahead and bought them. They're sold out, but I will be sure to link some and hopefully they come back in stock. But sneakers, so great with different dresses, so comfortable. I feel like this isn't a revolutionary thing, but if you guys wanna try some new shoes and some new vibes, I definitely recommend these sneakers, super comfortable. They go with so much. The Converse even work with trousers, which go check out that video, seven pieces to wear for spring. Love, love, love them. Some heels as well kind of going in line with the whole minimalist thing. I feel like these are very minimalist sneakers and now for some heels, these are the Bottega Veneta knockoff. Again, another Miss Lola score. The same guy that complimented my croc bag, I was wearing these shoes and his wife who's wearing Chanel flats and a Goyard bag, she came up to me and said, are those the Bottegas? And I said, no, they're a knockoff. And she said, those look so good and a mule, which isn't revolutionary again too, but I've been wearing these a lot and I like them. They go with so much. They go great with some black, some black jeans. It even looks cute with what I'm wearing right now. Thong sandal heels, thong sandals with a heel. Does that make sense? I've had these for a while. I really wanna get, these have a lucite heel, but I just wanna get the simple black pair with a little heel, kitten heel. Such a fun little minimalist look and vibe and these are really fun. But yeah, just, I wanna get the black one. So stay tuned for that. But these are just fun little heels you could wear with dresses. I have these um, in another style, but square toe Bottega Veneta in white that I absolutely love. So yeah, these are some shoes that I'm embracing. Literally gonna go with so much trousers, Bermuda shorts, just really fun pieces. And now let's talk about some jewelry. Oh my gosh, so this isn't revolutionary, you guys, but the gold statement hoop is a thing. This has been my thing for a while, but, I, but it was seen all over the runway and I just wanted to share with you babes to go get yourself a pair. You could buy new, you could buy super affordable ones from October 21. These hoops were actually thrifted. The ones I'm wearing are from Love AJ. I love her hoops. So 
Whatever your price point is, whether you're a thrifter, whether you like buying just cheaper hoops or you want to invest in some nice hoops that aren't real gold, definitely get yourself some hoops. I have these that are actually silver statement hoops, but statement hoops, not revolutionary, but if you have been apprehensive to try them, go for it. I love them. I literally wear them all the time. They're my favorite piece of jewelry. Another thing are chains, thicker chains. I am all about layering gold chains, like the skinnier ones. And now a thicker chain is back. I've actually had this necklace since 2014, 2013. I bought it from Forever 21. I never got rid of it. And bold statement chains like this, this is actually made of plastic, but, and this gold necklace is actually one of my favorites from my girl Katie at And Then. I love it. She sells really great pieces. Her store's in Long Beach. And I've been wearing this nonstop since I got it a couple weeks ago. So gold chains, even crazy statement chains like the silver, I think would be really fun in gold. I've seen it in kind of white, like ivory. So bold chains, not so delicate anymore, but mixing it up. I also saw some long layered chains as a thing. So like I saw some looks with um, collared shirts, kind of deeper Vs and wearing longer skinny chains. So statement chains though, a thing. I'm loving gold though. So these are too bulky. Definitely try some gold in your life. Uh, last jewelry piece that I've been loving that these are things I actually haven't repurchased or anything. I had these already. Are pearls. These are pieces I've already had. These were actually gifted to me by Ann Taylor. I just did a collab with them and I picked these out, but these kind of drop earrings, they have pearls in them. They're so great. I've had this pearl necklace. It's super dainty. I bought it from my best friend. My best friend's a fine jeweler and dainty pearls like this actually layer with my more simple gold pieces. Missouri has really great pearls. If you want something that's a little bit more of an investment piece that's gonna last you. So, so beautiful. Maybe not a statement hoop, but these tiny pearl hoops are so freaking cute. Even little necklaces, like maybe if you don't wanna invest in a strand of pearls, but this is a great piece that has some dangle pearls on it, super simple. So these are just some of my favorite, super easy wearable spring trends of jewelry that you babes could wear that I absolutely love. These are things I've already owned, that I already had, and things that I can vouch for that they're super easy to wear. So definitely recommend statement hoops, love some gold ones, some statement chains, again, love some gold statement chains, especially the one I'm wearing, and pearls. Super easy, super fresh, super delicate, love pearls. And last but not least, let's talk about some beauty trends that I'm loving. This is definitely the time to start experimenting, you guys. There are so many different looks on the runway, and I'm sure if you hop on Instagram, there's so many different styles. So I hope this encourages you babes to start experimenting, to embracing them. Graphic eyeliner, colorful graphic eyeliner. If you're more into classic, try Cat Eye. You can do super thin. Glossier has a really great eyeliner that helps create really easy, thin, like little flicks, so start with that. If you're already somebody that wears eyeliner, how about a colored eyeliner, white, neon. Also a very natural bare face look was coming out, so that's really cool if you're not into a lot of makeup, but glossy lips. Lip gloss is coming back. I mean, it's already and always been around in my opinion, but I would experiment with it. Clear gloss, even really beautiful vinyl red lips. So glossy lips graphic eyeliner and beautiful neon colors. Also really beautiful smoky metallic eyes, which I already rock when I go out. So rather than kind of going with more matte, natural shades, how about a really beautiful glittery look? Definitely recommend that. The whole euphoria look is still a thing. Valentina had a really beautiful gold statement eye. So just having fun with your makeup, you guys, doing a really beautiful wash of color. I mean, Glossier just came out with their Sky Wash eyeshadows, which is a matte shadow, so you guys can just do a wash of color there. But I'm really into easy makeup, and these are things that are super easy to do, super easy to try, and I'll definitely be bringing them into my spring wardrobe this year. So yeah, that is it. That is all of the trends and pieces that I'm loving right now. 
super easy like I said you guys can thrift these all of these pieces a lot of these pieces I already had and some I did go out and purchase like the Air Force Ones I already had the New Balance sneakers though because I'm really digging sneakers as you saw in my jewelry I had so I'm all about freshening up the wardrobe for spring I hope this brings inspiration and encourage you guys to try some new things and yeah, get out of your comfort zone. For me, a whole minimalist is totally out of my comfort zone. So I'm all about, so for me, the whole minimalist look is totally out of my comfort zone, but I hope it brings some inspiration to you, babes, because I know I'm definitely inspired for spring 2020 and I'm all about experimenting. So hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, be sure to subscribe to my channel and stay healthy out there, you guys. Stay positive and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.